Okay, so we've had a brief introduction into how Conductor works and the ideas behind a Conductor. Let's start building our Bob's Widget workflow. In this, when we start off, our workflow is just going to have one task and that's gonna do the shipping. And so our worker for this task takes the address and creates a shipping tracking number and then outputs that information. And so the input to our workflow is a bunch of, is the address of the customer. And you can see that here is our workflow in JSON. Uh, there's only one task, it's right here. And that task takes in the workflow input. So this is the JSON input for the workflow, the name, the street, the city, state, and zip. And that gets sent right into this first widget. Um, and then the output, of the whole workflow, because only one widget, only one, only this widget task is running. The output is going to be the full address. And so one thing that our task does is the worker takes the task and converts this and turns it into a full address just in one line. And it also generates a tracking number. So it's also going to output the tracking number and that will be the output of our workflow. So we've now defined our workflow. And if we hit save here, this is the, the view that we would get. Now our task needs a definition as well. So let's look at the, the task definition. To create a task definition in the Orcus Playground, you press task definition, create new task. This is the widget shipping task. Um, its name is widget shipping. These all have to be unique names. So if you were gonna follow along, you would wanna add a unique ID to the end of this because in the playground, each task has to have a unique name. Um, this task will retry three times. There's a timeout of uh, 30 seconds. Uh, there's five bits of data that are input. The name, the street, uh, the city, the state, and the zip. And then the output again is the address and the tracking number. And so when the workflow is run, this task is fired up and the queue is filled up with many, many shipping requests. And the worker will pick up each one of those tasks and complete each one of them to complete the task and that will then complete the workflow because there is again only uh, one task in this workflow so once this is completed the entire workflow is completed and the output will be the address and the tracking number which is what we want to have happen in our uh, order fulfillment uh, workflow and so this is the first one in our next work in our next video we're going to walk through the steps of creating the worker and connecting the worker up to the task so that when we run our workflow, the workflow runs, this task queue is filled up, the worker picks up those tasks, runs them, and then we'll see the output from our workflow completed.